Hey, David here with The Barbecue Lab, bringing you the best outdoor cooking gear and techniques to help you win your weekend. By now you're aware of the pellet grill and how it's been crushing it in the outdoor cooking market. Smokin' Brothers has been making American-made pellet grills and wood pellets for the last 10 years to rave reviews in both contest and backyard alike. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Smokin' Brothers Pellet Grill and the brand new Premier Plus that is showing exactly how American Made makes a huge difference. All right, we're here with Ryan from Smokin' Brothers. And Ryan, we got this new model here. Why don't you walk us through a little bit of what, it, what this is. Tell us about it. Well, this is our brand new model that we just came out with. It's actually re replacing our Premier models that we were accustomed to making all these years. And what we've done, we've taken the Premier model, the same great things that were with our Premier model, is coming with the Premier Plus, plus some added benefits. On our Premier models, we, we always had the wraparound lids on, on our grills. What that did, it helped keep the smoke in and the wind and the rain out of the grill. We all also had the center stack, which on the Premier Plus is still the center stack. One thing that we've changed is a slide out rack. So now the rack slides right out. You don't have to worry about going in at an angle coming out. So if you've got something sensitive up there you're cooking, you can just reach underneath there and pick it all up and set it right down on the plate. Nice. plate. Now the other thing that's coming new with the grill is heat wave technology. The heat wave technology is a product that we came up with last year. Now last year, what, what we were seeing a lot of YouTube videos, people want to get higher temps on their grills and direct flame and things like that. Well, when you buy a pellet grill, you buy it for no flames. You don't want flare ups, but yet you want that high temperatures. Well, what our heat, heat waves do, they, they funnel the airflow of that heat coming up around the grill back to the grid surface. And so if you're cooking at 300 degrees, you're going to see 500 degree temps right on your grid surface with the use of our heat waves. You're telling me if, you, if I'm running this grill at 300 degrees, then right over here is going to take this air, it's going to shoot it back across, and I'm talking about 200 degrees higher? Higher? At least. Okay. Yes. Depending on the fan speed that you have, set it in your grill. And what's, ever, what's even better about that, it is transferable to other pellet grills. It's wow. not just specifically designed for smoking brothers. What we have, we have a constant fan speed. Okay. We learned years ago that with our constant fan speed, what meat doesn't like is fluctuation in temperatures as well as airflow. So if you can keep the same amount of airflow with the same amount of temperatures, the better the meat's gonna taste when it's done cooking. If you're getting value from this video, be sure to hit that like button for us. All right, back to the content. Cool. And I'm seeing stainless throughout here. What kind of stainless is this? We've got 304 stainless that we've been putting on here. And what we've done, we've got a work surface up front. So now you can easily clean it up, put it right back down, put, throw the food right on. Uh, we've got even a stainless steel accent rain cap as well that we've, we've, we've designed. One thing that I like pointing out is the grid holders below. So we've added that as well. So your top rack, say you're say you're doing a 26 pound turkey, a big turkey that sits up high. Right. You can take the top racks out and have a place to store them rather than putting them on your patio table and then your wife coming out getting mad at you because her patio table's covered in grease. I don't know anything about that. Do I miss camera person? <laughs> <laughs> now, so this ships with one upper rack, right? It ships with one upper rack. And you can always expand it to two. Exactly. Okay. Yep. And it's a welded frame. So when you get this, this is a heavy duty grill. It's designed to for the elements. And it's also designed to cook you around. So we double wall insulate the, the firebox as well put fire, fiberboard inside that, that box. So you're talking about an insulated firebox. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the main reason for that is then the, when the wind hits the outside of the grill, it doesn't change the temperature of the inside of the grill. It allows that fire to cook at a lower temperature, which gives more smoke. Now tell me a little bit about uh, the, the controller here. We've got a controller here on the front, and this is this is where we have our pellet hopper, right? Yep, your pellet hopper is right underneath your, your work surface area. It's a 20 pound pellet hopper. Uh, the controller that we use is a, it's a PID version controller. It's okay. got a little fun stuff to it to make it work a little bit better than the PI, than normal PID controllers that are out of the market. Every 20 seconds it's recycling and deciding what, what temperature or what auger percentage to actually put into the, into the grill. Cool. <clears throat> so, I mean, this looks like a great unit. Now, when, when is this going to be available for people to actually get their hands on and take a look at it? Some of the well, select, select dealers throughout the U.S. already have it in stores, and we're making the announcement live at the HPBA show. 
And then, so you'll probably start seeing trickling in there. And if you don't have a local dealer in your network, get a hold of us on our website and we'll put you in touch with one or we'll serve you the service you direct. All right, why don't you tell people where, the, where that website is? We're at smokingbrothers.com. Yeah, without a G, we smoke the G. So if you type in smokingbrothers.com, you won't get to us, but smokingbrothers.com. It's a couple brothers and my dad that run the business. Uh, we look forward, we have fun in barbecue, and there's no secrets in our barbecue. Cool. Hey, Ryan, thank you. It's a pleasure. And we look forward to seeing more to come from this series. Thanks, Dave, for taking the time. Question of the day. Are you currently using a pellet grill in your outdoor cooking setup? If so, let us know why you added that pellet grill in the first place. Let us know in the comments section below, as well as your thoughts about the new Premier Plus from Smokin' Brothers. And if you want to check out some of our other coverage from the Barbecue Expo, we've got a whole playlist out and we'll link it up in the YouTube card as well as in the description below. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on the Barbecue Lab.